ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog today i have arrived in iceland Okay, so time to tell you why it was mission impossible to come to Iceland. I well left my house quite late, uh, half an hour later than I wanted to. I was quite scared that I'll miss my flight, but I somehow reached the airport on time. And when I was checking in, I was told that I am put on standby because the airlines overbooked. So I reached the boarding gate. And then I was told that I have to wait till they board all the passengers and they'll see if they have any seats left. I got lucky and I got a seat so I was super happy. Uh, turns out the flight was running 45 minutes late and I had only one and a half hours layover in Oslo. With each Oslo I go to immigration. The immigration takes so much time. The immigration lady questioned me for about 15 to 20 minutes. I cleared immigration, ran to the gate and just about boarded my flight. It was so stressful. Uh, there were so many instances where I thought I may not be heading to Iceland today, but anyway, I have made it. Very exhausted. I'm just gonna freshen up, do a quick tour of the city, and tomorrow morning our tour starts. So I will see you directly tomorrow morning for the tour. Here's our tour bus, and here's a cute little carrier for our bags. <laughs> so now we have come to this spot called Thing Wedler. It means flat lands and honestly guys, it's quite beautiful, but reminds me a lot of Scotland, uh, the Glencoe area. The wedding. And mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think I was there for the 50th. Yeah, 20 years ago. That yeah. time they... I've been uh, with the tour for like an hour and I've already met so many interesting people and everyone here is very social, happy to chat and discuss their travel adventures. So I think booking a group tour was a great idea. They say that Iceland has the purest water in the world and yeah, it's very clear. So I had seen this in photographs and this sort of reminds me of uh, that Game of Thrones scene where they are going between the valley on a boat. Uh, I can't remember, quite remember it. Quack, 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 quack. This is absolutely incredible guys. The flow rate of this water is very high. It's about 25-30 meters. I'm sure the camera is not doing justice to it, but in real life it looks absolutely stunning. I think I've got the money shot right here. Oh, wow. So as you can see the ice glaciers behind me, that is the source of all the water for the waterfall. And if you can see the mist here, the water is hitting the rocks with so much pressure that mist is coming up to this heights. I mean, the view is absolutely magnificent. Wow. And now we have arrived at a geyser. Uh, let me tell you what a geyser is. So a geyser is basically like water just randomly comes out, boiling hot water out of earth. And I think here it comes out roughly every 10 minutes. So we will definitely get to see them. It says here it can be up to 100 degrees centigrade. 
so yeah not something we want to take a bath in so the sign clearly says that you are here at your own risk and it also says that the nearest hospital is 62 kilometers away um the whole place smells a bit of sulfur so here we have a very very close view of the geyser we are so close to it and it can be 100 degrees so i'm a little scared that if the water comes on us we can get burned um here we are much closer to the geysers and we can actually feel the heat here so there is a sign here to tell people not to throw coins Oh wow I just missed it but there was a spring that went like till here very high You can actually hear here how boiling hot that water is So now we have arrived at Selilands Foss waterfalls. I mean, it's very windy. So the great part about this waterfall is that you can go behind the waterfall. Well, I'm kind of almost completely wet because there's a lot of uh, mist and water coming from the waterfall. We are very close to it. Now we are going behind the falls and it is getting colder and colder and I'm feeling extra cold because well I'm completely drenched in water it may not appear so but we are very close to the uh, waterfall uh, yeah Ugh. and now we are directly behind the waterfall my camera lens keeps getting wet so I have to keep uh, Uh, keep drying it, uh, and it's very cold here, so I'm not gonna stay here for long. And here we have a bit of a scramble to get back up, but what magnificent views, guys! Wow, absolutely stunning. Let's see what we have here. We have some sort of a cave. Oh. This is a uh, way similar to the cave we saw in Northern Ireland when we went for the Game of Thrones tour. You can check it out in my vlog if you haven't already. And now we have arrived at Skogafoss waterfall. There are two uh, twenty steps all the way to the top. uh may not be necessarily better view but let's first go closer and have a look in case the waterfall or the surrounding areas look familiar to you it might be because they have been featured in a lot of tv shows and movies most notably game of thrones and lost in space which scene of game of thrones you ask well in the last season the first episode jon snow and daenerys are flying over their dragons in front of a waterfall and that was shot here Here again, you can see the rainbow very clearly. Now this is interesting. So we have a three-step waterfall here, if, as you can see, first, second, and then the third one right there. Mm. 
And our final stop for today is the Renis Fiara beach. It is a black sand beach. Actually, all the beaches in uh, Iceland are black sand. This is also uh, another major filming location for Game of Thrones and specifically East Watch by the Sea was shot here. Do you remember the Night's Watch were looking out for White Walkers in season 7? That was shot here, East Watch by the Sea. There are a lot of uh, warning signs all over here and that is because of something called known as sneaker waves. So to explain sneaker waves, there are regular small waves and then in between there comes one large wave that you're not expecting. That's why they're called sneaker waves and a lot of accidents have happened because of that. So people are generally advised to not have their back to the sea like I have right now and not go too close to the sea. This beach has puffins. Look at this little fella. So here we have basalt rock formation similar to the ones we saw in Northern Ireland at the Giant's Causeway. Um, I showed it in my Game of Thrones vlog so if you haven't already checked it out, go check it out right now. So we have finally arrived in our hotel room. Let me give you a quick tour. So this is the room. It's very nice, I think. And the views are just spectacular. Oh my God. So yeah, that was day one of the tour. Um, we have dinner in about half an hour. So I'm gonna freshen up, change clothes and head for dinner. And this is gonna be it for this vlog. Tomorrow we have the glacier hike so watch out for that vlog and i'll see you in the next one till then take care and bye bye